During the East African International Hymnal Competitions organized in Dodoma, Tanzania in October 2023, St. Apollo and Namasuba Choir emerged winner of the contests. <laughs> The competition that attracted over 50 choirs from the Anglican churches in East African countries featured Anglican classical hymns. Upon return, St. Apollo Chivebula and Namasuba Choir held a Thanksgiving service. Frank Chaze, the resident district commissioner Kasangat, who was the chief guest in his speech, urged churches to avoid mixing politics with church affairs. Politicians will always take advantage of whatever situation that they, they, they meet their way. You find a politician uh, putting on uh, as a reverend in church. Cultural leaders were advised to keep out of what? Politics. Likewise, these church leaders they shouldn't keep out of this because it is going to tear churches apart. What would happen if you had three contestants flocking to the same church? What would happen? They are going to be torn apart. Even the priests are going to be torn apart. Chaz also expressed concern over youth gangsters who are now becoming a problem within their community. He emphasized promoting talents among the youth. On the 31st, the reports we got virtually from each and every part of central region here was that the youth gangs, the youth gangs, we are just so many stealing, beating people. This is really a lot that the government has to sit down and plan for how we are going to have, to have it handled. You can imagine if these youth and gangs are used by politicians to further their interests, what is going to happen? I would urge the parents to look after their children, but the biggest problem you may find is that most of these youth have not received any parental care or parental guidance. The guest preacher James K. Chibuka emphasized the need to embrace talent. Brian Chimbugwe, the chairperson choir department, Menga Chidin Konari, takes us through what enabled them to emerge winners. We've been preparing for this for quite a long time, and we thank God we've managed to emerge winners. It is not easy to sustain a choir over a period of time because uh, you realize that the, the kind of music that we sing, especially in the Anglican church, we sing the, <clears throat> the classical music the choral music. So the, the youth that we have these days are not attracted by this kind of music. They, they, they love the contemporary bit of music. Many churches cannot afford to sponsor the choirs that are doing such a kind, su such competitions because you realize when you go for such a competition they want a number not less than 50 people on stage. You have to transport them, you have to feed them. Deborah Namamonde, Nancy Beatrice, UBC News.